boys and girls. How's everybody feeling? Uh, I know Brant. We're back in the room. We're, we got Brant back. Hey, Brant Cohen back. He's good back. to be back. Yeah, everybody's been clamoring. Every episode, just comment after comment. You know, all these adoring fans. It's Where's mainly Brant. Just, it's just me and new profiles. Where's Brant? Is he back? <laughs> when is he going to come back on this show? Half of our Patreon is just people asking where Brant is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just but, you know, if they if they got, have yeah. to pay to do it, then I'm hey, cool Brant, Brant's episode was one of it was the most successful episode until our mom was on the show. Yes. So you, you're not doing Amber Straley numbers, but you're doing. Hey, you're doing Brand Cohen. You're doing ha- Brand happy Cohen to ha- happy to let her take the place. <laughs> yeah, first place. Happy to play second fiddle to absolutely Mrs. Mrs. Straightly. Yes, of course. showing deference as it was. Yeah, you yeah, know. yeah, to a true true uh, artist. So we were able to drag you back in here, even though you've got an, uh, a dog allergy. You know, I'm actually I, doing really good today. You I are. You are and I, I'm doing significantly worse, which is great. <laughs> yeah, which is great. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> but I mean, are you trying to say that you this you enjoy my pain, or this is doesn't it happen for me often? No, I, we were hanging out the other night, and I, I overheard you talking uh, about how you know, sorry you felt for us because we were having allergy problems. We were outdoors. Yeah. Shout out, and I have yeah. pollen allergies. Uh, which, you know, I actually felt like I was being patronized in that moment. You know, you were just like, <laughs> oh, look at those poor little boys. Hey, well, you know what? Allergies. I didn't go through, uh, through four years of uh, allergy shots to, you know, to be able to just say, oh, I, I feel your pain. No, it's I'm great that I'm doing good <laughs> and that you guys are suffering. In what circumstance do you get allergy shots? What do you mean? In what circumstance do you get allergy shots? Like, do you, you go to the doctor and you say, I would like an allergy yeah. shot? Why not, why not just allergy? take like a, a Benny? Well, it's supposed to reduce your allergies, so they uh. inject you with the things you're allergic to, and it's like a four-year process. <laughs> Dude, Dylan, Jeez. are you, you actually ready for this? Are you actually okay what with you, this recording? What do, you, do, you, do you need the toilet paper roll? What do you mean, dude? Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I feel like my, 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 my throat feels like it's on fire, brother. Woo, woo. All right. <laughs> We're doing it. This is professional. Need water? So. Yeah. <laughs> All about I actually it, kind of worry about you right now. Jamie, can you give me a glass of water? Thanks, brother. <laughs> oh man, dude, I, I'm yeah, it's crazy. You, you need to get injected with pollen. But here, this yeah. is what I'm doing. This is me. This is like a sympathy pain for what Brant went through last time. Right? Yeah, you know, he was professional. He stood here and he went through it. You know, barely took out. He tissues. never once sneezed into the microphone. I did not. I sneezed over in that <laughs> direction. It sounded like you sneezed into the microphone. Let the record show. I this think anybody been... listening is going to think you sneezed into the microphone. Ah, well, I did feel true. some of my arms, so it was, just, ah, it was at least ah, in this direction. Gosh, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, oh, man, yeah. this is how we treat our guests when they're on the show. You know, <laughs> you only on them. Only Please. the most <laughs> professional manner. Please come on to Monomaniacs and uh, get sneezed on. Yeah. Uh, hey, I mean, hey, if it helps your career like it's helped Brant's. Yeah. You know. Lord knows. I mean, I the say. amount of Twitter followers he's acquired because he has a Twitter account. Yep. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Yep. At Brantosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> on Twitter. Uh, okay. So, Brant, last time we talked to you, you were moving to an area near Chicago or outside of Chicago. Yes. All right. So I was wondering, how did that go? We've seen you twice already since you moved. Yes. I just can't keep away, you know? <laughs> yeah. No, uh, no, the move went uh, went well overall. I th- you know, uh, first day in, it was 100 degrees. Unload the moving truck. Mover got bit by my new neighbor's dog nice. while he was carrying the dresser. So great start. But uh, we got we got in and I'm slowly adapting to the place. You know, there's, there you go. Yeah. There's uh, I, we had this conversation about uh, how much you tipped the movers. Right. This was uh, <laughs> apparently this was an internal debate for you. Oh, so no, uh, two things. One, uh, you they hauled how many floors up was this office that they hauled your office equipment? It's two floors. A two, two floors, floors, floors upstairs, right, to drop the thing off, which was not factored into the original price. No, it was not because <laughs> they I did not know, or you did not know, or maybe you did not tell. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say either way <laughs> that there was a two two floor uh, walk up. So. You, you you tipped, of course. And this is off company dollar, right? So this yeah, is not it was, you. It was, it was your pockets. Yeah. So you know, hypothetically, you could have tipped Eddie about, but <laughs> oh, I could. Brett, <laughs> Brett, how, how how much did you tip these guys? Well, well first, <laughs> let me just. <laughs> Oh, wow, man! <laughs> Dude, I, thought that, I thought that I thought that he was addressing the allegations last time he was. No, on. Yeah. I, I think the actual I think allegations. This is important, right? This, if we're this, trying to get to the core of Brant. Yeah, okay, well, so so first, let me just start by saying when we got to the when we got to my apartment to unload. Yeah, you you have to pay before they open the truck. Okay, <laughs> and so I was paying with my credit card, yeah. and they were using the like a restaurant paying app, the same thing, you know how it yeah, gives yeah, you the suggested square. tip at the end. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so it was giving a fifteen twenty uh twenty five percent suggested tip off of a thirty five hundred dollar move, <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, that just doesn't seem right because it was like you know five hundred bucks, six hundred. Don't check my math, but yeah, it's, yeah. you know it was significant, and I was. I, before then, I called my coworker and I was like, you know, what what do you tip a mover for a full service move? Is it yeah, a percentage yeah. base? He's like, let me call let me call a buddy. This guy says thirty five bucks a person is more than enough. 
And I'm thinking, my God, that seems really low, (laughs) especially for all this. And they got bit by a dog. It was 100 degrees. It's true. Um, So you paid them 15 a person. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I went down. No, so um, I I said, well, I'll handle the tip in cash later. Yeah. And I did ask him, though, I was like, what do you normally... What do you normally see in a tip? Oh, <laughs> I was just, I didn't know. Yeah. So I said, I'll deal with it later. And uh, so we moved on to my office. Wait, so so you, you asked the man, what do you normally see in a tip? What was his response? He said, whatever people feel like, you know? <laughs> I was like, do people usually hit the 15%? He said, no, whatever. I was like, uh, uh, I see. Yeah, you're trying to trick me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I felt like I was Maybe being tricked. Maybe he was being polite yeah. uh, because um, it's kind of weird to <laughs> like actually have to you know tell them how much do you want from oh, your tip. It was uncomfortable <laughs> for me to ask. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> yeah, well, we, that's tough for I, them. Yeah, yeah. Complete, I didn't, it's hard we, for me. You got to think about the real victim <laughs> here. Yeah, Brent Cohen. It was. I didn't want to be embarrassed and pick five hundred dollars and be like, they got him. You know, yeah. finally mm. somebody was stupid enough to do that. Right. So I go to the office, uh, I run to the grocery store, I get cash bef- while they were moving to the office to unload. I talked to everybody in the office really quick. I said, what would you tip? You know, you're adults. You seem yeah. like you know what you're doing. And Because you're not an adult. I'm not you know. an adult. No. My first time moving like yeah. this. Yeah. I said, what do I do? 17-year-old Brant Cohen. Yeah. <laughs> and I said, I got I got 35 bucks a person. What do you think? And they, uh, the CFO was like, man, that, yeah, I feel like... 80 bucks a person might be better. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I was like, well, my wallet has nothing else other than 30 bucks a person in it right now in cash, and they are moving furniture. Do you have any money? And they said, no, I can't help you. Well, then that's it. <laughs> oh, brand. You, you shorted them by $5 after all that? Uh, I didn't have an, I didn't have another <laughs> bill. Was I gonna, where was I going to find that? I don't know. You could go to the, the, the gas station and buy a Snickers bar and then <laughs> ask for back. cash back. You, you don't yeah. know how far I am from a gas station at the office. Oh. Uh, honestly, no, no, it's far. Yeah. I'm working out of an airport now. You could go down to the concession stand then. There's yeah, a, yeah. Get yourself there. some circus peanuts. Yeah, yeah. There's, a vend- there's a vending machine I could kick vigorously. Yeah, yeah. The cash back <laughs> of the vending machine. Yeah, of course. Well done. Well done. Yeah. Snickers. Well, you know, hey. So at the end of the day, will they remember you and hold a grudge? Yes, probably. Forever. Yes, they'll yeah, never. Forever. They'll never move myself. They've got again. a picture of you in the moving van now. Up, yeah, you know that they <laughs> practice darts while they're driving, <laughs> throwing, throwing yeah. them at the. Somebody's sharpening one of those uh, trolleys. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Hand <laughs> down, yeah. <laughs> Hit you right in the shins with it. Oh, oh man. Dude. Well, so if you were taking a guess, what did you think I was going to pay? I well, said fifteen. You said fifteen. Yeah, yeah, but okay. that that was out of a. Was that what you would have paid, or what you would have guessed he would? I would have paid probably. Uh, twice as much as Brent. Okay. Yeah. But me, you know, I would probably, you know, those guys, they work super hard. A thousand dollars a piece. Yeah, you know, they oh, really oh, deserve oh, it. Oh, you know, oh, I really would have, you know, oh, heck, I would have, yeah, so I, was thinking I would have paid for their co- kids' college tuition. This kind of relates know. to what he was saying about using the app or whatever, or, or Clover, or all those programs. Yeah, I know. You're talking There's about. a restaurant uh, that I was at recently that had just added one, and he got me and my wife talking about how a vast majority of those things. <laughs> They don't start with the most reasonable tip. Like, you know, God intended tips to be 15%. Yeah. Right? As a starting spot. As a starting spot. Right there. I agree. It's right. True. That is in, baseline. Uh, that's in Deuteronomy, I believe. Yes, yes. <laughs> Deuteronomy 15%. And, uh, and Genesis. <laughs> and Genesis. So, you know, from the start, they're like, okay, 15% is the tip thou shalt. You know, and I always heard, like, if it's something that, you know, they're not really working at, you know, like a... Like an ice cream shop or something, it's like ten percent is the tip. Okay, right. I Wait, you talking about though if they come to your table or if it's you order at the counter and they flip the thing over and it says tip. Yeah, you still tip on that. I still tip on that for ten percent. Ten percent. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. okay. But it seems like <laughs> the right. problem with these clover <laughs> things is that they are into totally unreasonable tip quantities yes. because they are under the impression that the person is going to be like, sure, you know. And I more often than not just hit the middle one. Which means I get hit with the 20, 25% uh, yeah. tip, right? Because the first, the bottom one is 18, which is 2% higher than what God intended. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go like, 2% oh, percent uh, higher, 3% three, higher. Ooh, Ouch, wow. right. Somebody's got to go back to his Bible. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go back to the rules. The, the Bible. <laughs> uh, it's, 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 it's 3% higher than what God intended. And then they're like, okay, uh, next one's 25, and then it's 30. Yeah. Right. It's like, well, wait, who tips thirty percent unless they're talking like a big group or with a well, this with is with gratuity. inflation now. You know, this is with it, it would just, would just it's true. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. But the prices are higher uh, everywhere. Well, you, you know what? Though, so I agree with you. Moving to the bigger city now. Yeah. The suggested tips start at twenty five percent and go up to thirty five. Yeah. And now I feel like a jerk, but I write in you know eighteen percent. Yeah. Like, I'm going back to it. Well, it's especially a bummer when you're sitting there and they're trying to make a show of not watching you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, but that's they are sitch. watching, and yeah. you have to look across the thing from them and be like click 
custom tip. Yeah. Yep. Five percent lower than what the lowest <laughs> one was. <laughs> or okay, so enter. or this conversation is strange to me because I'm always a twenty percent guy. I try wow. to I try to hit the twenty percent if I can. Right. So you know that's always an option. So I never really feel like that much of an issue. Have you ever thought about this for one second though? Twenty five percent. That's a quarter of your food food yeah. price. Yeah. So yeah. like you order something and you're like, oh yeah, this is gonna cost me, you know, a hundred dollars. It's one hundred and twenty five. <laughs> My turn. You ridicule me, and you don't even you don't yeah, even acknowledge this. I have to look at your face way more than I got to look at Brandon's face. <laughs> <laughs> he's, it's true. He's I'll a guest in our home. Yes, in our home. In your home. In our, our home. home. Shad lives in this basement. I don't know <laughs> you guys know this. Yeah. yeah, things aren't good at home. I live in this basement. <laughs> uh, I spend all day just making compositions like the one you see behind Brandon right yeah, now. That's true. That's beautiful. Yes, yeah. yeah. I uh, do want to print out of that later. <laughs> <laughs> just go to CVS. They'll print one out. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, should we acknowledge it then? Should we talk about what we're here to do today? What we're here to do today. What is this about? This is not a normal monomaniacs experience. No. no. Right. I mean, in a way it is, because yes. we are talking about somebody's monomaniacal obsession. Yes. Yeah. I think it's all three of ours, right, in a way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're all here to, we all really just want Brant, we all want Brant to find love. We want Brant yeah, to find yeah, love. We all do, all three of us. Yes, all that's three right. Of us. That's right. All, all, all four. We all got, four we, all, everybody in this room. Lucy's barking, yeah. I can hear yeah. you. <laughs> everybody wants Brant, Brant to, to find, find love. love. Yeah. It's so, true. So, uh, you know, throw on the, the, the jams, the, the, jams, the sexy bass lines. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special episode of Motto Maniacs. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than talking about something like, I don't know, rowing. <laughs> We're going to talk about love. Uh, it's something that's for s- serious for once. <laughs> serious for once. Really of impact. Rowing yes. can be serious. No. But not like love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. Not, no, quite. No, not no. quite. It's a whole different plane. A whole, whole, whole different. different. All right, Brent, yeah. what's, yes, what is the state of the union? Right. What's going on? Uh, Why yeah. is this even happening? Tell All us. Right. So, so, as we said, I've moved. Right. Lo- no, you see. My name is Brad Cohen. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Brad Cohen. I'm 26 I'm a, years old. 26 years old. I'm monomaniacal. I want to be in a relationship. <laughs> there you go. I am obsessed with it, at least for this week. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's my true. whale. Yeah. Uh, no, so, I, so I've moved to a new city. Yeah. We sort of talked about this before, that now that I'm out there, it's something I want to focus on. I'm settled in a little bit. I've unpacked all my boxes. I'm ready to uh, start finding... Uh, the relationship. I yeah. want to start meeting people both as friends and also in a more uh, serious relationship. And you know, coming back to coming back here, everybody I know here is married, and a lot of them have children or furry children, little pets. Um, and I don't, uh, don't say that. Don't say that. Don't, <laughs> no. don't even date. No, that. no, no furry children. Yeah, uh, my, my, I talk to my cat never. It just, no, <laughs> it exists in the same room. <laughs> I, mean, I, I'm not one of those people. You're not one of those. <laughs> okay, that's good. Well, any, anyway, so. Um, now, now that I'm out there, I realize that I don't know anybody at all um, versus being here where I know folks. And yeah. so it's kind of a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, the good thing is it's a clean slate. It's yep. an opportunity to go meet folks. But uh, within the few weeks that I've been already living there, I realize that I don't want to go sit at a bar by myself and then yeah. try to talk to somebody. I don't, you know, how, <laughs> how do you how do you get started? I just, I just I like the, yeah, I like yeah, the idea. idea. You're up on the bar stool <laughs> yeah. and hop down and <laughs> walk over to somebody. <laughs> they watch me climb up onto yeah, the next yeah. bar stool. <laughs> All right. Those things are a challenge. Yeah, those things are a challenge. <laughs> uh, you know, for me, I'm six feet. I have a hard time with those things. <laughs> yeah. So, so you, what you're telling me is new city, new bitty is what you're that, saying. That's yeah. it. There you go. That's the objective. Word for word, right out of my mouth. That's what yeah. we're trying to do. Okay. okay. So in that same vein... You're you're not trying to go out and meet people at the bars. What are you doing, right? What what are you doing? And that's why we're here today, right? Yeah. What is the next step for you to find said Biddy in a new city? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so the so the next step uh, is to uh, do an online dating profile. Okay, and uh, I'll just say I some just, would say that's extreme. Brand. I I say that's crazy. Uh, I I for the longest time did not want to do it, even when I lived. Uh, here, where the, the you know the dating population was significantly smaller than yes. where where I am now, I kept thinking the idea that I still want to be a little old school. <laughs> I want to meet somebody yeah. in, a, in a more natural or authentic way, rather than committing to any of the online dating profiles. Okay, and you know, I mean, I just I don't know. I think back to like how my parents met, and I appreciate the story, you know. And it's my my aunt and my grandma were getting their hair done. Uh, you know, my dad's mom, my mom's uh, sister getting their hair done together, and they're like, oh, I got a sister who's single. I've got a brother, uh, uh, you know, a, grand, a son who's single, so why yeah. don't you guys meet and give it a, give it a try? And, yeah. and it worked out. Yeah. So I, I like that idea 
um, of just a natural way of meeting people. You know, you met. I don't even know if that's natural though. That seems as though well, they were well, so, thrust together. Well, by so that's fate. the question: is is that like online dating in a way where it's like they were they were introduced through through the internet is the new community or whatever. yeah that's, that's well, what I'm yeah. saying. Well, it's not only that, but like instead of ants and you know that kind of a thing, it's. The algorithm, dude. That's what's yeah. bringing you together. That's, well, that's what, that's what I'm saying. It's sort of yeah. replacing the the parents saying you know, the parents of their friends saying, "I've got these people now. You're just kind of doing it yourself." Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Well, so I'm going to say, you know, you're, you've come to the wrong place. Yes. You know, we both met our spouses <laughs> the natural way, but today, yeah. while I was on the toilet, yes, to say, I read a lot of articles, <laughs> and so I am ready to you give are. you all the advice possible. It's I got to say, if my wife sees my search history and sees, you know, <laughs> I was trying to find particularly bad articles, and oh, I was good. like, dating profiles that make women go crazy. <laughs> BuzzFeed. Yeah, yeah, BuzzFeed. And I was like, uh... Honey, uh, don't worry about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, okay. So you know, we I I've constructed some mental stuff that I'm going to yep. be asking you. So I'm doing some cross like okay. you know cross examination on this sort of thing. And we are here, and you, to reiterate, our goal yeah. is to make sure that Brant has the perfect, unbreakable right. Just anybody who sees it and, and instantly swooning. Right. Yeah. Normal. Dating profile. Right. If That's the algorithm normal. were. You know, so kind to to grace a woman to see it, <laughs> right? That, that that would be they'd be in hook, line, and sinker immediately. Yeah. Well, right? so you're going to be using a more traditional, <laughs> I guess, as much as traditional if you can say, uh, online dating platform. Yes. yes. This isn't you know you're not on Bumble or Tinder, Tinder or whatever. You're not no. swiping. No. Or et cetera. You're on Catholic Match. Yep. Is the plan. Yep. Which mm-hmm. is the sort of having a profile and people look at other people's profiles and reach out to each other sort of situation, which mm-hmm. is. You know how God intended to yes, how, how, how the Pope has <laughs> has the Pope has, he uh, has said, blessed yes, it. Yes, <laughs> yes. Papa Francesco was like, I suppose uh, <laughs> you can you can have profiles, no swiping. Uh, <laughs> so we we have a more traditional setup. So it's not like because a lot of the advice that I read and I became an expert, you know, an hour and a half ago. Yes, uh, a lot of the articles that I read were about trying to create something that, you know pops out and excites the person who sees it because it's, you know, comical or witty mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. nutty, you yep. know? And, uh, my favorite one Three was, things uh, I would use to describe Brett Cohen. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Nutty, a top of bunks, though. <laughs> <laughs> my, my favorite info that I got was from a, a page called um, <laughs> Rich Single Mommy. Oh, uh, this sounds good. It was a good blog. to start. And it was uh, <laughs> trying to figure out... It basically, it was just constructing how to trick a guy... A into, young man. ...into marrying... You and your son, you know, <laughs> situation. What? Uh, you and your son? As in, like, you know, you have a son, and, you know, that's traditionally, it's very difficult for women who have children to, m- you know, meet people. Mm-hmm. Um, but one thing that it was very explicit about, and this is the first thing that we're going to be talking about, <clears throat> is being honest. You know, you don't want to uh, obfuscate in any right, way. There you, you go. You don't right. want anybody yeah. to, to see it and be like, wow, I love this six foot three guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did, I hope that, he tips well. Yeah. <laughs> Both of those things crossed my mind. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you know, it actually, that, th- this is a you know a legitimate conversation to be having. You know, this is something that we've talked. I've talked to Dean Sinclair about this on numerous occasions. You know, online dating right now is very difficult for short dudes. Yeah. How how what, what how are you feeling going into that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even really know it was that difficult, but now you're now you're making it, <laughs> oh, now, oh, now, oh, now you're causing me to worry. Oh. The waters are fraught, my friend. I mean, yes. it's but it's a, it's. A, I mean, why is it difficult? No, they don't just write. I mean, can I avoid writing my height? I you mean, can avoid writing your height. You shouldn't obfuscate it, of course. But you can right. avoid writing your height. You know, mo- most accounts, a lot of a lot of women only, like, do open, especially on something like Tinder, right. ask, asking how tall how tall you yeah. are. Yeah. So I mean, I don't know a Catholic match. I don't know how yeah, yeah. what they care about over there. <laughs> how many rosaries do you? Yeah, pray? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three. Uh, swipe it left. <laughs> Come on. No. Okay. So. That being said, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we should me. try to. Yeah, that scares you. That scares me. Why does it scare you? Well, I mean, I'm I'm five five. People think I look taller than I am, but well, so here's the thing. Here's the thing. Is it's like a reverse barometer. Yeah. Right. Where it's true. If a woman's gonna say, "I'm not gonna date you unless you're six feet tall," is that a woman you want to date? Brant Cohen. Brant Cohen. But is she six feet tall? <laughs> and Brant's like, is she attractive? <laughs> <laughs> is she the hot? Wheels were turning. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I guess not, because yeah. that, that's kind of a bad way to start it. Yeah. Yeah. It is. There it is. Go. So at the end of the day, you are more likely to catch good women right. because you're short. 
because you're short. short. Yeah. There you go. That's yeah. fair. Those they're, that are they're not moving, superficial. They're moving past that. Yeah. 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 Moving past that. Yeah. Plus, I think you know, if you if if any of them have a conversation with you, it's like, oh, this guy doesn't feel very short. Yes. You know, we right. got a tall personality. personality. Yep. 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 There you go. Yep. Absolutely. Which is a compliment. So, Brad, we should also <laughs> talk about. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, we should talk about <laughs> right. Like, what are the core th- core brand? Right, because that's you know, because the thing that you're stuck on right now yeah. is writing your description. Yeah, right. Like I, you're, I haven't launched the profile. I'm yeah, right you've got, there. You've got everything except for who is Brent Cohen. Right. Yeah. What is the image that Brent Cohen wants to put forward? It's not right. this one. It's. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the image that's being put forward <laughs> right now. Right this second right yeah. on, a, on a screen. <laughs> you would love to walk into that multi-million dollar mansion. Oh, the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> no, I'm sitting arm in arm with Brent Cohen. Oh, I think so. yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah. My apartment's so, a little bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, I hope you like a twin size bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a full. <laughs> <laughs> to brand it is. <laughs> it's more like a king. Uh, uh, yeah. Anyway, so, so let's 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 distill it down, right? Yeah. So this is not you writing your description, but like, what's the what do you what's the vibe? What are you trying to communicate to the gals out there about Brant Cohen, right? All those Catholic biddies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, um. I don't know. I think I well. Th- this is what's difficult, right? Is like, yeah. what do you put first? Mm-hmm. I can say a lot of different things, but what is the first thing that you put forward? Yeah, yeah. I I know that I want someone. I mean, since it's a Catholic match, I want someone who will obviously help me grow in my faith. But I don't particularly. I don't want to say. I don't, I don't want a, a super tra- rad trad Catholic. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. Um, I I want someone who is willing to grow in their faith because I, you know, I'm 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 good in that, but I definitely need to be stronger. Um, and so, I think. I don't know if that's because you're on Catholic match. I feel like I don't know if that necessarily needs to be the first thing. Okay, you know. All right. So here's my opening line. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, if the Pope says jump, you say how high? <laughs> that I might be the guy <laughs> for you. Right. <laughs> All right. Really, um, really swinging hard. Right. As I said, you came to the wrong place. <laughs> yeah. This, I'm, I was gonna say I should bring a notepad, but no, nah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. So actually, this is going to apply differently here uh, because again, I'm the resident expert. I've read articles. Uh, yeah. It seems like a lot of people uh, are upfront about things about them. Dylan just knocked over some of our scenery. Oh, no. Jeez. I'm not going to let you get away. Not the dark the, lis- the <laughs> listeners need to know this. Uh, <laughs> so a lot of people couch something about them that's negative, but spin it as a positive. Mm. You know, they use... So fun size. Fun right? size. Fun so, size. No, 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 not sort of like that. that. I don't know how much not, of a negative that is. Not like that. You, you, you kind of you hit it with like a flowery adjective Mm -hmm. or something you know like somebody who's annoying you know they're like i have you know i'm exuberant and have a big personality it's like we get it you're you're terrible at parties right (laughs) you know it's it it, it makes sense right Mm -hmm. and 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 we're talking about just anybody nobody in particular when we say that right yeah Anyway, so that being said, <laughs> what? No, I was not uh, trying to do that. I was, I was like, wait a minute, that's not me. Bill is being very, very uncharitable right now. What? No. This Damn. man is burying his heart. This, this is hard to do. It I, is. I know. All right. I know it is. Before we started this, I said, you know, he, Dylan was like, we should go through every pro and con of brand. <laughs> oh god. And I was like, I don't think we're interested in the cons I, right I, now. No, just just the pros. Just the pros. No, I mean, I I I love communication. I love yeah. talking to others. I want to be able to be in a situation where yeah, whoever I'm with, I can keep talking to whether they're talking or listening yeah. i want an active conversation not a one-sided mm-hmm. one okay when i when i generally talk to people in conversations i don't like it's usually me trying to it turns into an interview mm-hmm. yeah because they're not participating yeah so i'm asking a thousand questions and i i'm I, you, know, you run out of things to ask <laughs> and say and yeah. you get one word answers i i don't want to do that well let's say somebody you know you know, normally people are say like, "I'm looking for a good listener," or "I'm mm-hmm. a good listener." Yeah. Why don't you say, "I'm looking for a good talker and a good listener"? Yeah. I want this to be two sided. That's you, exactly you know, what I want. You, yeah. A good conversationalist. Yes. A good convers- That's too many syllables. Let's cut that down a little yeah. bit. Good, good listener. Good At this ta- point, they're, <laughs> they're out. They're, they're done. Yeah, That's why yeah. yeah. Good talking. <laughs> good listening. <laughs> and we want that Ed with an apostrophe at yeah. the end of that. Listen in. Listen in. Yeah. 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 But I mean, like, I find that my energy in communication with others yeah. is, matches theirs to to at least a certain degree. Where mm-hmm. if I if they're willing to participate and communicate and talk or listen, mm-hmm. you know, whatever, I'm at that same level. Yeah. Okay, it, Brent. So here's here's another thing I want to talk to you about. You know, and how how this is community. Yeah. Because Brent, you're a very ambitious dude. Yeah. Right. I got goals. Yeah. yeah you got goals. You got a lot of things <laughs> that you want to do. You know. You, 
you're, it's viable that you would travel places. I like the idea actually of Brand having like a, like what a hobo thinks rich people's like kind of <laughs> like <laughs> I want my name up in life. <laughs> I'm a, I pave my ass with gold. You know? <laughs> gotta like, have a golden said, toilet. You said that you're really goal oriented. What are some of your goals? I want to rule the world. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> when I walk down the street, I want all the ladies to blush and all the men to tip their hats at me. <laughs> they already do. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Cohen. So, you know, I think it's important, you know, in, in that degree, right, that you find somebody who's, you know, willing to go, you know, toe to toe with that. Because, you know, that can be intimidating to some people, yeah. Yeah. right? You know, that like you, yeah, you, some people want something that's really like tight in one place stable right not to say you're unstable right but there's a lot of potential for movement right yeah I, I, I like I, I mean so when i'm when i first moved to this new city i was working with the city staff for my job and i uh, started meeting a couple of people who are big leaders in this community yeah. and they said you know this is really a small town even though it's a town of a couple hundred thousand people and i said yeah. well my goal i Pins. like to be able to make a big community feel small I like being able to go and do things, be involved, get to know people. I like to be out and be active in that sort of situation. So yeah. I definitely want someone who will be f- comfortable with going along with that or even taking the reins themselves mm-hmm. and participating. But So you want a first lady. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> uh, I think that's a good way to distill it. I, actually, that's not, that's not a bad way, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I also, I mean, I also enjoy just staying put, mm-hmm. you know, but not for too long. Mm-hmm. I like to be able to just sit down. You want to keep your options open. Yeah, right. knowing that yeah. there's always something to go do, mm-hmm. and I can go do it, or people I can go meet and talk with that are changing the scenery mm-hmm. rather than just staying, uh, doing the same thing over and over. But I enjoy also just staying at home. So a little introverted, but primarily extroverted. Sort okay, okay, that situation. makes that's making sense to me. So we're yeah. fleshing this out. We're right, fleshing right? this out. So you know, finding me. Yeah. You know, you're, we're we, we're you know conversationalists. You want somebody you can talk talk to talk often to mm-hmm. you know there's gonna be a lot like you know, ambition you know there's a lot of things going on you gotta be you're gonna be shaking hands and kissing babies yep right <laughs> kissing you know? hands shaking really making babies. an impact yeah. in the community all of that jazz. whatever community it is yeah right cool cool yeah right, cool well then brand what do you do for fun right <laughs> like what if, if somebody comes to you and we sit down and have a conversation say let's let's role play this out right my name is cindy right okay <laughs> no no so, 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 cindy's our hr person Ch- oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Bradlina. All right, so <laughs> nobody's named Bradlina, I think. So that's that's a safe name. Or should they be? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, so Bradlina. I'm Bradlina. Uh, what did you say about my name? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna, you're gonna get hate, uh, getting hate mail from that one. Yeah, that's so. uh, okay. You know, uh, all, all the Bradlinas. All the, out there. all the five people named Bradlina. Uh, <laughs> so Bradlina is like, oh, well, okay. So this is all. You know, I'm really understanding what you're trying to say here. You know, I, I love, I love that you're. You know, but like. Sometimes you know you don't. You said you want to stay in. You don't want to do anything, right? Like, but what does that even look like for you? Because you're so career focused. Oh, you mean just staying in? Yeah. Yeah. Oh well, no, it's no, it's great. We, uh, <laughs> I love, I love a simple stay in. You make dinner. You go take something. You bring like a good uh, sort of food in. You watch. Yeah. Uh, you know, you, I don't know. I like watching movies. I like um, doing the thing everybody likes to do. Yeah, yeah no, I, 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 I like I'm books. simple in that. I like movies, <laughs> but I also, I mean, I don't I like know. Music. <laughs> What know. kind of music? Music? <laughs> I don't know. If, yeah. if you wanted to go out, an example that I think is fun would be uh, going to a bunch of different restaurants and ordering just desserts. You know, yeah, yeah. Instead of going to a restaurant and ordering the dinner, you make a night of yeah. desserts, or you bring all that in and you have. I don't a- know the way. The way Dylan tips, I don't think you could make that happen. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna you, bar- go to, you go to two restaurants. It's gonna be too much. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm not Dylan right now. I'm Bradley. Oh, so excuse me. Please address me. As but Bradley, you asked me what, I want, what, what at home. What, what do you want to do? Is yeah. that what you're asking? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it's just you know, I. I Sometimes, if you move so quickly throughout your life, you know, and you're constantly doing things, uh, it just goes by so fast. You know, it, I, I'd like to stay in and, you know, be able to enjoy us, and not have it through the lens of other things. <laughs> in this circumstance, you just, you know, you say, you know, I, I. I'd be willing to be bored for you. <laughs> there we go. That's don't what, say that. Yeah. That's no. actually, that's, I mean, that's a big part of like romance. Actually, just being like, I don't want to. This is boring, but I'm just gonna do it. You know. I don't know, but there's a beauty in just just sitting and yeah. relaxing, or just sitting, talking, or playing a board game. Yeah, vibing, like, vibing, listening to music together. Oh, real quick, I gotta. I've got the check here. I don't know. <laughs> oh, uh, do you? Yeah, can, are we we're splitting this? Right? <laughs> we're splitting the bill. Yeah, I'm not taking. Oh, we're not. Okay, go. Cool. Yeah. Um, how much do you want? 
Because <laughs> we're splitting the tip. <laughs> so I'll, I'm paying I'll the tip. Okay. You're going to make me pay yeah. the tip? You'll be, I'll, I'll take 10%. I'll that? just pay the whole thing then. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> that, that is actually <laughs> ideal. For, for me, that's what I want. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Not a lot of, not a lot of experience here. <laughs> that was passive aggressive. <laughs> that was her saying, well, <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, okay. Right. Okay. Um, yes. So we're going to do some meat and potatoes. We've already did some role play. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. We're, we're trying to push you. Was that, that in one of the articles? Pra- yeah. Practice with role playing. <laughs> Have one of your friends pretend <laughs> like they're someone you're on a date with, like it's a sitcom. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, so uh, a big, everything helps. You know, what I'm saying a big part of the mores of online dating, from my understanding, <laughs> and this is based not only on the articles that I've read today, but also my conversations with many peoples of many different people groups, is the opening line. Right, that is a in, more in the uh, in the in the messaging. Yeah, in the messaging. In the messaging, not yeah. in not in the description. Does the woman message first? Does the dude message first? Mm-hmm. You know, how do you communicate? Well, what kind of messaging do you? Yeah, use? what's your instincts on that? Yeah, are you a hey? Are you a hey with two Y's? Are you a hi? Are you a howdy? Are you with a cowboy emoji? Uh, <laughs> yeah, are you a like a like a rabbit emoji? And then you messaging like. Oh hey, I, I came in here because my rabbit got away, and I'm trying to find my rabbit, but instead I found you, an absolute bunny. <laughs> <laughs> a bit, a bit, a bit. Uh, I mean, what's uh, uh, no? I mean, well, I don't know. I, I've never. I have, Brent, you don't know, but you. Gotta I don't know. know. I've never you done this. things. You got to. I have never done this, but right, these are right. things to ask. <laughs> let's run. Let's run. No, let's, let's run it. I like hey. Okay, hey. Let's start with hey, but I feel like it's got to be better than that. It's it's probably be well so I especially think it the, in the circumstance okay, well, especially the platform right yeah, it's a little bit yeah. more involved you know I mean if it, you know, this is the situation where I'm in, I'm initiating it yeah okay yeah. Mm-hmm. I know and that's a bad place to be Brent, but it's sometimes better to have them initiate but. I know well that's just <laughs> but life, in this crazy Brent, in this crazy world you can't just sit on your hands and hope no. for a woman to arrive it's true well, then why am I filling out the application <laughs> <laughs> I did so much work filling out the application <laughs> someone on the spot yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Yeah. Let's clar- let's clarify. Yeah. It, right. Yeah. Because yeah, because there's gonna be a moment, right, where you're gonna you know, you're gonna see a, a gal and she's gonna seem pretty nice. You know, you're gonna like what you see on that profile, and you're like, I just somebody I could see going out on a date with. How you got to break through that that and tension. You got to break through that stress. I well, yeah. I think I think some of it would also depend on what's in their profile. Something yeah. some sort of pieces. Yeah, to so build you, you want to try to find a mutual. Like say something. That yeah, is, so, well, something oh, that I found parallel. interesting in yeah. that in in their profile. That I see that you tip poorly. I also <laughs> tip poorly. <laughs> hey, hey, Want to go ruin somebody's night? <laughs> uh, Let's order a steak and lobster <laughs> and tip them ten. <laughs> uh, they would love that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's because gas is so expensive. Yeah. I think that's a good there's a lot of things going on. Yeah. yeah. I think that's a good answer. I see you also have a car. Gas is very expensive. expensive. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a, that's the start you, of a You want to go dodge a tip somewhere? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be messaged back immediately if I'm yeah. Bradley. Well, okay. So are you are you suggesting like or, like when you read the articles that yeah. you you know instead of maybe commenting on something that you find is mutual interest, do you go and start with a one liner? So the thing is, is that it seems like this is a like there's people <laughs> who do dating profile consulting. Like for a living, <laughs> and I read this article. Which why, why are we getting paid for this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bill, the bill is the bill is the bill is a hundred dollars. Uh, but of course, you know, feel free to tip what you'd like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> we get one hundred and ten dollars. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, I, I, and all of these consultants, you know, I, I read this one article. I was like an interview with this consultant, and all of them are just these terrible jokes, right? Yeah. Like one was just. Um, like it was a weather forecast where it was like dating me and there'll be signs of, you know, fun times uh, sort of situation. Which yeah, yeah, is. I bet it was that good. <laughs> no, I, no I, it, well, it was what? It, sure, fine. It was, a si- you know, signs of a quirky personality and a dog mom, you know, like it, that sort of thing, yeah, right? Yeah. It was all, I mean, it's like every every woman on a dating profile, right? Except for this one was sober, which was funny. It was like, ready for a sober time. I'm like, well, well one of my, one of my, one of my, that's not going to be on Catholic Match. <laughs> one of my friends who's on uh, a different dating platform yeah. uh, called me up one day. So this girl reached out to me and her message was a one-liner and she yeah. said, are you a bank loan because you have my interest? Wow. So, <laughs> Brand's like, interest? <laughs> <He's> money. <laughs> <laughs> you do have my interest. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, uh, no, I, yeah. I, I mean, I guess it kind of depends on the situation and the tone and the, and the woman that you're, you know, attempting to woo. But mm-hmm. in my mind, if I receive, like, 
I don't know. I, that just seems silly. It's, no, it seems silly. I, yeah. I, I, I would. So asking yourself on the end of that, would I want to respond if someone did that to me? Probably not. You know, I feel. I like, don't know. There's no, a you, world in which I'm like, oh, you dog. And then I respond. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. Ah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I, think, I think. I think it's always worth just kind of playing along for a little to while. See what happens. Seeing what happens. Yeah. I mean, here's also here's the thing. You know, you got to keep in mind. Um, if a woman in any circumstance express interest, interest in oh, you, you need to you, gotta, you, need you gotta at least go respond. two steps ahead of the process because this is the dating online world, and so as far we, as the ratio so is concerned, and you know the amount that of attention that women get in comparison to men. Like if you know if you get that attention, you know at least play it out. Yeah, you know, <laughs> don't concede, happens. play it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Keep that keep those red red flags, you know, in your periphery. Right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, you know, make yep. sure that you you watch out for them. But the yellow flag, the yellow flags, kind of ignore. Yeah, yeah, whatever, dude. Yeah, that's also it's important for you in these circumstances to have like good self-esteem about yourself mm -hmm. and about what you desire because maybe you know you're going to get attention really early from someone who isn't a good fit but you're going to be like is this the fish in the sea yeah yeah for me immediately yeah yeah the first one you know you catch a minnow because you're just getting started mm -hmm. right yeah and there's a absolute, you know, a, there's a there's a 15 pounder back there. <laughs> My whale of the week. Yeah, <laughs> your whale of the week. And uh, you're sitting there with a minnow. Yeah, yeah. You're, you know, some krill. You know, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, no, you, you, you don't want you that. You settled, dude. You, you settled. settled. And you deserve more than that. Bro. You deserve more. You than deserve that. more than that, guys. We've been talking a lot about money in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, we can't do this show without money. <laughs> and thankfully, our beautiful patrons do not tip poorly, right? They, yeah. they give us the money that we need to be able to make this show happen and to yeah. produce this, this amazing content that you're looking at and <laughs> listening to right now. Yes, yeah. this is perfect. Uh, you know, I want to shout out to uh, our top donors, right, in the, in the highest tier, Joe Papalardo yeah. and Amber and Zach Stralin. We've got a shout out for a new patron this week. Yes, and we got a new ten dollar patron. Wow. Luke Martin. Martin. Wow. Killing it, dude. Yeah. Wow. Killing it. Amazing. Excited to have another boy in the group. Yeah. Uh and you know, everybody else on the of course, all of our patrons, thank you so much. Um if you're interested in donating <laughs> the five dollar tier, we do an exclusive Patreon episode every week. And you know, this time it's gonna have to it's gonna get a little serious. Yeah. Right? Because we gotta we're behind the paywall. Things are going to get a little bit more. <laughs> we're going a little far into it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know we're we're wearing these turtlenecks for a reason, brother. Because uh, we love gurus. Yeah. I'm sorry if I didn't communicate that earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's turtlenecks is because we're uh, yeah love gurus. That's the bit. Uh, so at the ten dollars tier, you can ask us questions. Right. You can do AMA questions. We'll answer them on the episode. Uh, the only questions we got right now are from Joe Papalardo, uh, and oh. our, our beautiful. Oh, and oh some from Luke. <laughs> Luke sent us a question. Perfect. Oh boy, <laughs> we got it. Let's let's uh, let's hit Luke's question first. All right, cool. Hey, that's that's Joe's questions. Uh, uh, all right. So that's no, Joe's. this is this is oh, Luke's yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Brant, yeah. has it ever crossed your mind to steal an airplane? <laughs> you, you know, work in airplanes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Have you ever? And you've flown in a private plane. Yep, with you and just the pilot, correct? I've flown in the cockpit, yeah. Yes. Wow. Have it, has it ever crossed your mind to just garrot that guy? <laughs> <laughs> Choke him out and take the plane. Careful, we don't want him on uh, a fly list. Uh, no. <laughs> Has it ever just... Uh, you know? how about, how about, it's an unoccupied plane. And <laughs> sitting there waiting to go. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Every day, whenever I'm bored at my desk, I go take a walk on the airfield. And I, I yeah. tell you, the plane... So, working in an airport is really cool. You come up every morning yeah. and... All the, uh, you get there, all the jets are out, all the planes are out, everyone's working on them, all different size planes and mm -hmm. hangars, unattended all day long. And uh, it's just, it, I don't know, it's, yeah, the answer is yes. yes. It, yes. It's amazing. At the end I mean, of the day when would? I leave, they're all put back away, yeah. which is really cool. But this the airport I work at. Everybody, wasn't there a news story where a few, like a year and a half, two years ago, where there was a guy who was just one of the guys who just moves chocks or whatever? Like, <laughs> and he just would, saw one that was unoccupied, walked on, and drove it around for a little while. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Why I not, mean, dude. Yeah. I mean, I can imagine being at a point in my life where it's like, I have no prospects. <laughs> <laughs> take a plane. I'm just going to take a plane. Right? Oh, I'll man. be remembered for something at the very least. I, yeah. will, I will say, though, so when I got to fly, when I get to fly to set off the balance of the plane, depending on how many people are on it, they do ask you to sit in the cockpit yeah. um, on these smaller planes. And it's, it's actually a lot of fun, but uh, turbulence in a smaller plane. Not so great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there are two large pedals when you're in the cockpit that control the uh, rudder of the plane. And you can't touch them. Can't touch them. <laughs> when you're hitting bad turbulence, you feel the urge to grab everything in front of you. <laughs> like, I, I, <laughs> I was reaching out for the, the controls, <laughs> and the pilot's like, stop it! <laughs> stop it! 
have you ever because you, you're locked in that cockpit with that pilot has it ever just been an <laughs> awkward five hours of you just sitting there as the pilots just well you know me we, we actually the pilot and i ended up talking for <laughs> of course the entire flight <laughs> yeah without uh, we turned we were coming back from atlanta um and we had turned around and the rest yeah. of the people on our plane were asleep and i was awake and talking to him the entire time. Yeah, yeah. And you were like, hey, you want to turn on the intercom? Maybe we could, you know. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna, the plane's going down! <laughs> you you, you want to <laughs> drop the oxygen mask? Uh, 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 <laughs> let's really scare him. I like the idea of him still talking to you about some, you know, like, banal stuff while, you know, the, the, the oh, yeah. going all over Yeah, don't, don't grab that. So, yeah, my daughter, she's yeah. uh, she's in this ballerina thing oh, right <laughs> now. <I think laughs> we're we're talking about phase. golf. I, you know, I bought her the starter <laughs> stuff, but no, no, please don't touch that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, though, so the other thing I'll just say about this, uh, you learn a lot I honestly like he was teaching me how to fly a plane when wow. I was in the cockpit and <laughs> dangerous information very dangerous <laughs> if I keep to, you know, I'll keep getting to well, fly no these it's planes. important because if if the pilot were to just have a you know a heart attack and fall over and yeah. he'd look up at Brian and be like Brian it's your turn take the, take the controls <laughs> as long as I help. didn't as long yeah. as I didn't cause the heart attack. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I pushed the wrong button he has a heart attack <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah oh man because everybody knows that a plate has a kill switch and that you can <laughs> take the pilot out immediately <laughs> if necessary you know oh no yeah. but uh no it's, it's actually a lot of fun to get up there and you, you learn a lot about like how the planes work but one of the things is you get your headset so yeah. that how you can communicate to him but you can hear the air traffic control towers as you're going yeah. over all the whole country and we're having a full normal conversation and every time you switch um, regions yeah you have to punch in a code for your plane in the new one and so you're talking and he just you don't even hear it he just knows it he punches in the code they give them on the microphone while we're still talking he's just perfectly able to identify his plane yeah and I, I don't know it's just it's really cool. I love planes. Do you ever just listen into air traffic control? I like the idea of there being like a hot mic <laughs> moment. Yeah. Uh, e7. <laughs> Hit. Nice. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we got another question. Another series of questions from Joe Papalardo. Oh this is rapid fire. Okay, okay so we got to go through this as quickly <clears throat> as possible. All right, I'm... I'm Excuse me, I, this is the first time reading them, so you know it might be. So it'll be slow. He told me to do these all together at once and to do them quickly. Okay. okay. Maybe you will take matters into your own hands and put Joe down, a la mice of men. How will you <laughs> bid him farewell? You each have one mil- minute to tell him goodbye. Use your words. How should we start? Joe, uh, um, I don't know how to say this, but uh, uh, you know. One day when we were all out, when we're out of here and we, we, we make our money, we'll uh, buy you a big a big farm, big farm where you can play drums and scream at the top of your lungs. <laughs> <laughs> There'll be so many bunk beds for you to break. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, heartfelt, yeah. heartfelt. Oh man, Joe, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm gonna miss you. I hope wherever <laughs> you go, there, there's a mirror in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Pick up your socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it's for the best. All right, so <laughs> yeah. uh, often I've been talking to a woman for ages, say two months, so I yeah. think she's the one. How do I determine her ring size without meeting her in person? <laughs> <laughs> I asked I asked my, my wife's best friend to yeah. offhandedly ask her, hey, you know, here's we're talking thing, about yeah, rings. Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Here's What's the your thing? ring size? That's fine. That's a, you know, That's a thing. She'll find out if you do that. Yeah. I mean, I, I asked... About the, I did the same thing, the same ring size thing, and of course, you know, she found out. It's they, they talk to each other, women. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Uh, <laughs> women talk to each other. So I would suggest dropping one of those ring sizers, you know, on the ground, in like, like into some like shellable shrimp or something, and be like, hey, why don't you shell yourself a shrimp? And she reaches <laughs> in to shell herself a shrimp or a crawdad, and then she goes to rip the tail off. You know, it slips on her finger. There you go. Yeah, you got yeah, it. You got uh, it. Too. Yeah. yeah, but it's or actually get, accidentally like, her thumbs. You're gonna have to buy her an engagement thumb ring. Yeah, which, you oh, know, fashion statement. But tough. or 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 you take one of those photos and you do one of those like insane person on the internet measurement things. <laughs> <laughs> Send it to Reddit. Yeah. They'll figure it out. They'll figure it out. If you just look like you're fumbling through it enough, she'll just tell you. Yeah, she's like, I'm ready. Here's <laughs> All right. Question number three. Dear reader, my mother turned 59 this year. Are there any national parks with poor cell reception? <laughs> I'm uh, sure in remote regions of Yosemite there is. Yes. I know for a fact that in Olympia, in so the, the Olympia Forest in, um, uh, in, in Washington. Has I imagine Isle Royale up north. Yeah. Definitely. I don't know how serious this question was. Okay. Next question. <laughs> either, Those are serious answers. Either my mother has asked me to be a better son. How do I prove the man in my trunks 
my trunk is my ex and not my current lover. <laughs> uh, that's really, really simple. Uh, there's tests for that. There's forensic tests for that. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's not too tough. Yeah. All right, next question. Luckily, your parents' bedroom is the first place you saw unwrapped Christmas gifts. Did you ever believe in Santa? And does your dad know you're a peeping Tom Shadrach? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, gosh, it's like, is this like, wait, did you get this like with with cut out, you know, letters from a magazine? <laughs> I, I mean, it feels oh, like at this point. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. We I don't, think I, ever, Santa, I don't think I actually ever believed in Santa. Yeah, I, yep. I, that's crazy. I don't think yep. that's true. Uh, <laughs> I believe, but I knew, uh, you know, like five, six, seven years old, like ah, oh, there's no Santa. But I wanted yeah. to keep thinking I'd get more presents that Santa would be giving, yeah. and then my mom I would be giving. I so. believed in Santa like a pagan believes in the yeah. gods. Okay, cool. Uh, over the weekend, my dad broke his collarbone and now insists I bathe him. Does prison food suck? <laughs> Listen, it does, man. I mean, that, it's not like they're this feeding you. It's a non sequitur. Yeah, yeah. It's not like they're feeding you good stuff yeah. when you're in prison. I, or else you'd want to go back there. Well, right? But you got to smuggle it in. Yeah. Who was that famous TV cook, the one who's friends with Snoop Dogg, who was in jail? Oh, Martha Stewart. Martha yeah, Stewart. yeah, Martha Stewart. Yeah. I'm sure if you were in her jail, it was fine. Yeah, but yeah it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, the first letter of each question spells out my last question. Answer it. Uh, it currently spells out Modelo. Modelo is the question. <laughs> the answer is, is yes. yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. oh, wow, God. that was that was rapid. Yeah, fire. thank yeah. you, Joe, for Woo! the questions. All right, well, so we have a more important conversation that we got to get back to at yeah. this point, yeah. which is, you know, how are we doing on time? Twelve minutes. All right, we got just, twelve minutes. Just enough time. All yeah, right. this actually, it's more than enough time to distill Brett Cohen down to his person. Right? You know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we've taken so much time. Yeah. to do it right now. Uh, Brand. Yeah. All right, so yeah. this is a huge. I, I I don't want to undersell how tough this can be to do. Yeah, like this is a this is a big step, right? To you know be like, all right, I'm gonna fully take this whole online dating thing seriously. No, well, it is, and I, I mean, I looked at the statistics of it. Um, you know, forty percent of Americans are on dating apps. I don't know if that's duplicated or not. Yeah, twenty percent people actively in relationships from those. Only seven percent actually get married, and they said of the seven, twelve percent end up in divorce in the first three years. So, which I mean is not like a particularly high statistic, but I would say that I, I think yeah, twelve percent is not bad in the first three in years. the first three years. Oh, it goes up to seventeen years. by like the next five. Yeah, well, well you know, but <laughs> <laughs> the first three years is hard. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. why did you get through that? Yeah, yeah it's, it's so, easy. Uh, how, uh, isn't it like something like fifty percent of current people dating right now met online? No, I thought it was forty, but it could be fifty. Of, of, oh, we said forty oh, percent oh, oh, of people are, are on using apps. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I think like fifty percent of people who are dating right now met online. Really? Yeah. So, so I mean, it, it is becoming the. It, I mean, it is. It's the norm. It is the norm. It's true. It yeah. is replaced sort of waiting for your mom, your grandma, and your aunt to tell yeah. that they got you know single people that need to meet. Which is funny because you know like uh, you know chosen marriages actually are far more statistically successful. <laughs> that's, that's true. Than, uh, than marriages of love, which is a <laughs> wild thing, but uh, I mean, I mean, but what is success? What is success? But what is success? If is is if it's just not divorcing, then you know how do you know that they're truly happier? You know, well, I, that's a pretty good measure. True. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty good true. Job in, true. In that respect. Uh, so, so this is. I, I think that Dylan is actually being a little bit. You know, I think he's blowing things up too much. This is not. I mean, it's de- it's going to be tough, and it's definitely different than something that. No, you'd I mean, be I'm just saying it's, but it's it's hard to make that leap. This isn't ad normal. This isn't it's weird true. anymore. Yeah. Right? right. Yeah. Nobody who's on there is going to be saying stuff like, you know, I, I I wasn't sure about this, and you know, et cetera. I mean, somebody you might go on a date and they'd be like, oh, you know, everybody, oh, I, damn, you know, go on a date with on on Catholic matches being like four or five inches shorter than I thought they were going to be. <laughs> 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 like, shoot, I'm 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 pulling out. I, yeah. I'm leaving. I'm leaving the app. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but you know, th- there's a that's not as much of a barrier as there used to be. Now yeah. there's like new tensions, right? People right. have different expectations, and they want you to either be a comedian or for you to do all these things. But I I think that as long as you're honest and direct, you're less likely to go on a bad date. It's true. Yeah. Well, I, but I think there's also, you know, based on when you get your, if you're responding virtually to meet and message each other, yeah. you have more time to think and, you know, tailor your answer. You could ask your friend, you know, all that stuff yeah, versus yeah. Um, if you meet them in person, talk to them on the phone right away, they, you know, they see you immediately. They, yeah. You know, you don't have that time to yeah, think but through still, it. But there's, there's a charm to that and also a lot of honesty. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. You know, like the circumstance in which I met my wife was at a party, right? And I was like, I don't do this, but like, can I have your number? And she was like, you were cute enough for me to say yes. And also I found out you weren't 45. (laughs) 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 She she asked me, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 20. I'm 23, dude. Uh, I think it was 22 at the time, actually. Uh, Maybe not even that. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, Gosh, 21, time, time be flying. Oh, yeah, dude. I was 21 at the time. So time I mean, works. it's 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 there. There is a certain beauty to that sort of circumstance because it can be a lot easier in the circumstance that you're going to be in to create a curated version of yourself. Yes. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. And up until the point where you go on like two or three dates, and then you're still doing a curated version of yourself because you're a human being, and like, like that's how it works. It takes yep. a while, right? Mm-hmm. So it's just going to be a little bit of a more difficult transition from Brant Don Juan of the internet variety, mm-hmm. you know, the sexy bachelor from <laughs> Illinois, and uh, Brant Cohen. I play saxophone. Yeah, who plays saxophone? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I've been working. I've been practicing that a lot. You yeah, know, trying to play trying to songbird. <laughs> Just trying to get up to a good level that I can tell someone that I actually play saxophone. That's a good idea. Get back yeah. up to that. Yeah. Yeah. Women love dudes who have skills. So, yeah. do, so do colleges, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and I got I got into college, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> I could find a woman. Exactly. Exactly. It's really that easy. Well, usually yeah. <laughs> that you do find a woman when you're at college, you know, so I guess it's similar, but I don't know. I don't know about usually, actually. You know? No, I didn't. I, don't I would say at our college, it's pretty. That was pretty. Yeah, yeah. but I mean, that's. Yeah, a, yeah. that's I a mean, I, if you didn't find a wife mm-hmm. when you were at Hillsdale, then, I mean, like, you know, oh, you definitely oh, had a, 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 some problems. <laughs> you had some problems going on. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. Oh, bro. We're, Shut like, up. definitely in the minority, even on this one, dude. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, you know, what's also weird is so a lot of the people we know from college got yeah. married within a couple of years of graduating. For me, I'm four years out, and now all of the people I was in high school with. Are now just starting to get engaged, so yeah. it, it's almost like a second round. I I don't I haven't talked to these people, but I you see it online. You're like, yeah. oh, okay. Well, now now I'm starting <laughs> to feel you know, like this is a little abnormal, but yeah. that is now normal. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, th- that's definitely another impetus for why I want to give this a try. There but, you go. Again, we wish you the best of luck. Brian. Well, I, you support. got this. But yeah. well, here here's a question though. That yeah, you know, um, I think it's just similar with any sort of type of dating, but. You know, if you're doing online dating, you go meet somebody, and you're like, it was it was an okay date, and maybe a second one is worth it. But, yeah. You know, or not. I mean, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you have, if you go on this date, but you have an online profile, and there's three or four more messages that have come in, and when you get back from that date. Yeah. You know, what, what do you, you don't, do you, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, do you go review those, and then talk to them, and go on dates with them while you're still with this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, you I see mean, what I'm saying? Like, unless, until you guys, until you're exclusive, you're not exclusive. Yeah. There right? Yeah. And especially if you're using an online dating website or whatever that should be the expectation yeah right you know it's a little soon to say that that's going to be the case oh, but yeah. <laughs> i'm assuming i'm going to get a lot of hits yeah i yeah. don't know i don't know what yeah. you're talking yeah, about i mean especially after this yeah yeah the only hits you're going to get is you know, going to give you dude yeah <laughs> <laughs> you should try to you know through some sort of obfuscation you know you're supposed to be honest but i think it'd be kind of cool if you just sort of insinuated that if somebody were to read through the lines that maybe you're you know the heir to a great fortune or something like that <laughs> there you go yeah yeah the yeah. great cohen fortune the great cohen fortune <laughs> <laughs> it's all, all that tip money i don't give yeah uh, <laughs> piled up under my twin mattress <laughs> yeah uh, <laughs> yeah i mean yeah i mean uh, i know i was holding out uh, up until my my the day of my wedding, I was hoping my wife would say surprise. It turns out my family is fabulously wealthy, and I wanted you to marry me for love. Uh, I was holding out. <laughs> Have you seen this, there's this cons- there's this <laughs> show right now that's on TV where for a while they were doing this thing where like you would date someone who was normal, and then they would reveal that they were a billionaire at the end of the episode, and then the, like you would Side decide whether up. or not you want to be with them or whatever. And it's like of course like 100 percent of them were like I'd love to be with this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Um, but there's this new one now where they make a they like do a dream date where they have this hunk who has no money and they have, you know, various women of various IQ levels <laughs> uh, <laughs> show up and they, and they go on this like insanely crazy choreographed billionaire date, right? Where he, like they pick him up in a limo and they like ride horses and they go to the most exclusive clubs and they take him back to his place and it's like a mansion or whatever. And at the end of the night, they're like, by the way, I'm a surf instructor. <laughs> you know? And then they're like, do you still want to be with this surf instructor? It's like, no, I don't want to be with the surf instructor because at that, you know, in that moment, and this is a funny thing about like reality TV in that respect and, you know, 
like any sort of romantic reality TV, like The Bachelor, actually, which you know we we're doing our own little uh, version the, of the right Branchler. Now. The Branchler. <laughs> 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 that sounds like a Joe, that sounds like a Joe Papalardo joke right there. Actually, I think that was a Chandler Ride joke. Uh, yeah. I have to that give him credit. Too. That yeah, too. The Branchler. Yeah. Uh, but you know, <laughs> when you're talking about those shows, you're you're creating a love or romance for a television in a very specific catalyst right like this isn't real life right right mm -hmm. i mean and i think you could fall in love with anybody under those circumstances yeah especially if they're obfuscating their personality and also how are you supposed to look when you finish this date with a guy you know and of course like you're having nothing but the most vapid conversations doing the most insane rich people stuff and at the end of the night they're like i'm actually a surf instructor it's like do you even know this dude like you can <laughs> say no i don't want to go on a date with you because you're a surf instructor and but at the same time there's this cultural pressure where they have to be like yeah, I'd love to go on another date with this surf instructor. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pick me up in your van? <laughs> you know, like, I, there's is, is it's it a, true. Is it yeah. a stretch? If there's van? a camera yeah. on you, like, how shallow do you want to appear? Exactly. I mean, people, tend and in to, some I mean, way, people don't really care. We're about getting that. big brain here for a second. In some way, that camera is on you when you're online. No, on me. Yeah. It's yeah. true. So, yeah. so I should pretend to have a limo? Yeah, you should show up. You know, you I, should. I can pretend I have a plane. Yeah. I, I can do that. Ooh. I can okay. do that. You're going to cause an international incident because you're. Lie goes too far. <laughs> He's like, well, yeah, I can fly this. I've flied it a couple of times. He's like, oh, can you show me? And you're like, yeah. Uh, One sec. He go like beat the crap out of the security guard, steal his keys. And you're like, let's uh, go on the plane. You know? I can, oh, they, I can, they I can, left the keys in the ignition. I guess we gotta fly it. I can just get it to drive around in the, the mountains of Bolivia. <laughs> <laughs> and then you fall in love in the mountains of Bolivia, and it's a you know tale as old as time. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The mountains of Bolivia have claimed many planes and. Created many relationships. <laughs> so you're, what you're saying is obfuscate just a little bit. No, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. We're not advocating, <laughs> advocating that. Dude, okay, there was some wild stuff I saw online where, like, there was this one where it was like, because there's all these uh, <laughs> dating websites like written by sociopaths. You know, okay. they'll be like for the dudes, it'll be like put this woman down and she'll want to sleep with you because she's like got low self-esteem <laughs> and for ladies it's like invite your hottest neighbor over to like work on stuff and when he gets home he'll be jealous and work on stuff and you're like what is going on <laughs> are people like unironically reading this stuff and thinking this is the move yeah right here i'm gonna make my man jealous or, or i'm just gonna a society ruin a woman's life <laughs> or a society of sociopaths dude. yeah exactly Why not? so don't be a sociopath be genuine be genuine yeah. be straightforward mm -hmm. right the only thing is, Brant, that I would highly recommend is that I could feel like any woman sitting down with you for a first date would feel like she's at a job interview. And so I would say, try not to let that happen. Well, th that, that's you my fear. Be that, that's, been my, that's been my legitimate fear. Yeah. Be a loose boy. Just be a little bit loose because I know that you're very like goal-oriented and very straightforward. Sometimes people don't like that kind of conversation so quickly, <laughs> right? And I can but imagine. no, but if you got the girl who immediately comes back at you and is like, I'm going to ace this interview, you know, she's got that kind <laughs> of a, a like, drive. She, she wants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then there you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Brent's getting a little hollow, Ooh, hot under the collar oh right man. now. <laughs> oh, man. Are we going to yeah. save this for the Patreon? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I would just be like, yeah. you know, I, that's something I would consider and think about kind of going into it because the worry could be that, you know, They'd be a little intimidated by you knowing exactly what you want. I mean, I just, I'm probably going to go in and be very nervous. And I thought you were going to say, I'm going to probably go in and be crazy interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and just like a really good listener and yeah, a really yeah. cool guy. I'm going to really nail it. Yeah. I'm just going to do that. Is, yeah. is that. is that all it takes? Yeah, literally is that it? all it takes. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Be a real cool That's guy. That's what I did. That's why I'm married. I was, I just, every single day, it was just the best dude who ever lived. Mm -hmm. And you, see, but you have to keep that up. Yeah. It's true. Now I'm like married and it's getting harder and harder. <laughs> yeah. The cat's around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cat's around. <laughs> Son of a kid. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. These things are crazy annoying. We can talk about this another time. I get myself eternal on the Patreon. All yeah, right. Dude. So we're running out of time. So, Brant, I need you to look into the camera. Yeah. And, um, you know, imagine it's one of those call ins <clears throat> from, um, you know, the 1980s where there would be, uh, <laughs> where you know your name would be at the bottom and it would say like local bachelors and you say hi i'm chris and i you know i'm looking for someone to replace my mom you know something like that so, <laughs> uh, look, at, look at the uh look at the camera and uh give them a just a, a quick like call the number below if you want the brand <laughs> uh I, I'm Brant. I'm from Illinois. Uh, I am six foot three. I am tall, blonde hair, and I am uh, I'm looking for my first lady. There you go. There you go. There and you I'm go. incredibly right. generous with my tips. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>